Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on F1 2020 continuing on with this career mode season in what is the AlphaTauri F1 team. Last time out in Melbourne, we had a uh, pretty interesting race to say the least. It absolutely pissed it down. And it was my first race on an F1 game in like three, four years. First race in the rain, first race at all. So it was a massive, massive learning curve. I've taken a lot of what I've learned in that race. Hopefully you can apply it in this race, even though obviously being Bahrain, as you can see, it's gonna be dry, which helps a lot. Now today's race is gonna be 50% race distance. And it looks like we have a two stopper or a one stopper um, as the sort of strategy options i'm thinking of probably going to go one stop just from that six second difference but it does mean we're gonna have to uh protect those tires quite a bit in terms of the setup pretty much just gone and found a setup on the steam uh workshop i haven't really spent much time learning how the physics and setup works on this game i mean every game's different especially a more of a simcade game like this one uh so yeah some pretty funky looking uh, settings here but Again, it's F1 games by Codemasters. What else do you expect? Anyway, that's enough talk. Uh, let's head on to this formation lap. I have managed to qualify. Well, I did qualify 15th, but it looks like I'm starting 14th just because of a couple grid penalties. So that's another free spot, I suppose. Alrighty, here we go. Second round of this F1 2020 career mode. Bahrain Grand Prix. Ooh, lights went out quick. Not a very good getaway, but... Could have been worse. Oh, jeez, it's Williams. Oh, Jesus, all right. Door banging. Oh shit, I got, got one either side here. Too much curb, come on. I dropped a position off the start, but it's alright. Could have been worse after that initial getaway. We'd way too much wheel spin again. Norris is next. Yeah, he's on the softer tyre, so technically he should have an advantage, but here we go. Double, <laughs> triple slipstream. It's going to be risky. Man, it is intense on this first couple of laps. Liking the grip levels though. Not say that, go and almost spin it out. Just got to be careful on this tyre if we are going to try and make this a one stopper. Can't blast it too early. Yeah, it's one thing I wish they'd fix with the physics. If you touch these curbs in an F1 car, it's going to throw the car off balance, but not so much in the game. But again, it is a SimK game. I just wish the Codemasters guys would, you know, go and create maybe more of a realistic simulation physics, like what they've done with the damage, and then just keep the SimK ones for, well, the rest of the market. Stay within that second. Caution, 
Oh, yellow flag's out. Someone's had an issue. Someone's come off ahead of you. There's a yellow flag ahead. Oh, who's that? That looks like that's Boltas. To say it looked like one of the Mercedes. Well, in round one, um, Hamilton DNF'd. So reliability issues are <laughs> a real thing in in the game for Mercedes. We've just got a row of cars in front of us. It's just basically the best of the rest. Still the midfield sort of teams I need to start getting some consistency back here not driving overly well to be honest Late lunge, pulled it off, that's another spot. One away from the points. Oh, and careful, those rear tires, Joseph. Going a little bit too ham with this overtake button and starting to use it up, <laughs> use it up a little bit too much here. So good to not have any more aero wash. That was getting ridiculous there for a second. Uh, I'm not going to get the DRS though. Shit, too. I reckon we got just about enough of a gap so we don't have to defend. Really shocked at actually how good our pace is compared to compared to some of the other cars around us here on the softer tire. Because qualifying wasn't actually too good. I basically semi screwed up my lap, but even if I 
probably just about perf perfected everything I wouldn't have been able to get into Q3, just about made it into Q2. There you go, Ocon next. He's on the soft, so he's definitely going to have to make two stops. Yeah, the strategy is pretty 50-50 around here, I reckon. Let's see if we can get within the DRS here. Nah, not quite. Car is just handling a dream on this medium tire. There okay, go, got it now. Don't have anything for that Renault power. Just wait to the front stretch, I reckon. I think he's actually probably going to hit soon if he's on that softer tyre. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Called it. Still got the DRS, thank you. So we are going to pit, I think, 13 is what it said. See, we're really starting to catch the cars in front of us now on this medium tyre. That sort of crossover point has, has gone over now. The medium is now quicker than the soft. Uh, change down too many there. But we are in the lead for now. Let's see how long we can make this strategy last. The key is just going to be not fighting with people that we don't need to. To be honest, the grip levels aren't too bad right now.
should not be changing the third. I keep forgetting to tell my brain not to do that. Save up a little bit of overtake here. Well, now that we got the draft. Oh shit, Jesus Christ. Just completely snapped loose there. I'm running out of tire. Oh shit, still had the overtake on, that was why. Fucking hell. I just cannot get used to this earth system. Losing a lot of time here. Uh, I think we're pitting this lap. Or well, the next lap. Come on. Tell you what, I'm fancy in this strategy right now over the two stopper because um, we look, me and Gasly are virtually third and fourth, way ahead of the rest of the midfield. It's just whether or not we're still going to have that same pace at the end on that hard tyre. Those tires are pretty much shot.
Alright, come on, quick in and out. Let's go, boys. Go, go, go. 2.7, not too bad. Look after these tyres now. Oh, all that traffic. Super careful to these hards because you do not want to blast them on these first couple laps. Uh, I just had to make that move there. Did not want to get stuck behind him throughout this section. Yeah, I've had to use up a little bit more tire to do it, but oh well. Trying to drive this thing as straight as possible. Oh, you twat. Started out with a lap extra, uh, half a lap extra because I felt like I was using a little bit more he here than what I was at Melbourne. Watch out for that right now, it's pretty quick in the straight line from following it. You gotta think about the other thing as well. If you are actually on a tire with less grip, then technically you spend more time braking, more time rolling, which in this case gives you more um, harvest on the battery. So you can actually deploy more to get back up to speed. I mean, obviously grip's always gonna come first, but it's just something I've realized. I feel like now that I'm having to brake and roll more, I'm actually getting a little bit more usage from that battery on these straights. Shit, I got that Red Bull right in my ass now. Gonna let him fly on past here. No point, we're not racing him. Oh, shit. oh no, fuck's sake. Just was not concentrating on where I was braking. Idiot. Uh, damage that front wing now. Fuck's sake, Joseph. Destroy our tire life. So Ten laps to go. Copy 
copy that. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix this. God damn it. I can't believe I just did that. We go on the softs, that would be interesting. Uh, do what the engineer says. Oh, I just don't know what, it's just a complete lapse of concentration. Alright, so we're going to pit this lap. Place the wing. Fucking moron. Can't believe I just did that. Right in a perfect position for a top ten. Oh shit. Dropped us all the way down to 16th. Oh, make that 17th. Oh, make that 18th. Oh, yeah, the flag's out. Oh, that's Albon. So that would have been us on the. Oh my god. This has gone from bad to worse. We would have had like a top five. Oh well. At least we've got a fresh set of mediums now to go and. Lay down the fucking law. <laughs> Could really use a safety car, that would be really helpful. Overtake. <sighs> the 
it's definitely a second. One way of doing it. Now, a pair of Renaults in front of us, but just running out of time here. I'm not going you know, to get any points. Can't believe I made that mistake, man. That's gonna that's gonna haunt me later on in this career mode. I can guarantee you, because we were on for a top five there. Just lose so much time in the pit, especially. Place in a front wing. Just smallest laps in con concentration. It's more focused on what was behind me than what was in front of me, and that's all it took. I'll tell you what, these uh, F1 2020 races, they're, they're hard work. I'm definitely sweating more in, in this than what I am on R Factor 2 or any. The other Sims that I race. Three point six seconds. Three point six. Yeah, it's just not enough. Plenty of fuel. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Mamma mia. Alright, well, it's going to be a 12th place finish, so I guess it's an improvement on round one, but what could have been, I reckon, what could have been, anyway, just sucks, because our, our pace is really good, the car is absolutely insane around here, struggled with it at Melbourne, but definitely around here it's been insane, I love this setup, man, I, I am sweating my nuts off, it's so hot in here. I've got two lights either side and of course summer here in the UK on paper doesn't look that hot but I've just, you know, no air conditioning in the houses so I've got a fan here that's doing bare minimum. <laughs> Alrighty, well thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that one today. Again, not the best result but we'll move on to the next one which is the Vietnam Grand Prix so stay tuned for that. Really looking forward to checking out that, I think it's the Hanoi Street Circuit and yeah, until then, catch you guys later.